Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go through how to calibrate the Cortex Metalizer gas analyzer. Gas analyzer. So first thing you need to do, you'll see the two icons on the desktop. We want to go into MSS Toolbox first, so double click that. That will open up a number of different menus. The only one you need to look at is calibration. So click on that. Click on calibration and it's a three part calibration process. So the first thing that we need to do is enter the barometric pressure within the lab. So it's in millibars. So we've got this little digital uh, barometer so we can see it's 1021 millibars today. So if we add that in there, that will change uh, probably every time you come into the lab depending on weather conditions. So make sure you always double check it. Click on Calibrate. And that's that done. Okay, the next step is the gas sensor. And again, this is a, a two part process. So the first one we do is check the ambient air conditions. So you've got your pneumatech, okay, which has your feed line in. So just rest that on there. Click on Start Calibration Step 1. Uh, this will just take a couple of minutes. So just wait for it to. Uh, finish that calibration. We're just looking for a nice stable trace on these gases. Okay, so there we go, that's that done. Next we need to take the feed line out of the new tank and we need to connect it to this bottle. So this bottle is a special uh, gas formula, which is 5% carbon dioxide and 15% oxygen. So carefully just put that into the end of that tube there. Here's a bit of a, a tight fit. No, and then click start calibration step two. So again, we're just looking for a nice stable trace. One point to note when you're doing this calibration is you need to turn the metalizer on about 45 minutes to an hour before you do any calibration and any testing because you need the sensors to warm up in there first. Okay, so that's that bit done. So we can take that out and put the feed line back in the pneumatite. Okay. So the last part is volume. So we've got a three litre syringe. So place that in the end there. And you'll see we've got two little bars, purple bars here. We're gonna draw this syringe in and out. You need to make sure you pull it all the way out to the stop and push it all the way back in to the stop. And we want to get a nice even trace that falls between those two lines. And I think we've got to register five equal strokes. So when you're ready, click on calibration. And off we go. So I need to try and be very consistent with your strokes. So there's one. There we go. 
So once that's done, you can take that out. And the only thing that we need to do there is click transfer down at the bottom, and that'll transfer all that data to the unit and we're ready for testing. So once you've done that, go to exit and you're ready to start testing. And to start testing, click on Metasoft Studio. <coughs> Set up a new test, click on new. Enter the details. So surname. First name. Sex, male or female, date of birth, height. So you should have already recorded height and weight, so that's in centimetres, weight in kilos. Okay. Then you need to select your mask size. Okay, so you'll see there's a lot of different masks on this list. Okay, the ones that we have are these ones here, not the blue transparent ones, just the ones that say blue, so you can like medium, large, petite, small. Okay, so select whichever mask you're going to use. You don't necessarily need to fill the rest of this lot in. Okay. So just go to OK down at the bottom, and that person should be in there. There we go. So to start the test, click on Next, and you need to select your protocol or enter. You, know, you can manually create your own protocol. It's entirely up to you. Or there is a lot of tests already in here. So let's say we're going to do VO2 max ramp test. So we'll click on that. That's ready to go. So click next. Now you can do a secondary check of the volumes, etc. If you want, you don't necessarily need to do that because we've already done it in the previous calibration uh, software. So you can just go to next. It should do it. So click on continue anyway. And it will, if you don't do that secondary test, it'll ask you the same thing again. But as long as you've done that calibration the first time, you can just click on yes. And then you're ready to start the test. So you've got your start button at the top, pause. So if you need to stop the test for any reason, if the mask comes loose or the heart rate monitor comes off, and just pause the test, it'll stop it, and then just start it again. Okay? And it will just automatically run that test. You don't need to control the treadmill or anything. It's already done through here. We can also connect it to the Loney uh, cycle ergometer, and again, it will control the load. When you've finished, just click stop and it will save the test automatically. So, once you've set the metalizer up and the participants warmed up, you need to fit the mask. So, you want to get one of these blue masks, there's different sizes, and you'll see it's printed on the bottom what size they are. So, you want one that's a good fit but not too tight. So, if you take the cradle, the skull cap, and it goes red side in, the broad side at the top, and the narrow straps at the bottom. So they just hook into those little clips, make sure they, they click. Like that. And then put that over the top. So if you just hold that there for me. Click the bottom ones on. Okay, now it needs to be a good seal. Okay, you don't want it so tight that it's crushing the face. So the easiest thing to do is put your hand over the end and ask him to breathe out. And if you can feel any air coming out of there, it's a bit difficult because we've got gloves on, but if you can feel air coming out, then it needs to be tightened. Just breathe out for me. Okay, that's not too bad. So we'll get up a little bit. That's it. Your face mask is set up there. Yes, we're going to use the harness. So if you just step into that for me. Okay. And that just buckles around the waist. Like that. 
You don't want it too tight because if it's too tight it would prevent natural movement and you want a little bit of play in the safety cord there. Okay, so that, that's fine. 